dance floor, about six, five or six guys sitting there at the booth. And he says, what are you doing? I'm dancing. <laughs> Remember how I used to dance in the 60s? It was cool. It was the 60s, man. We were loose. Now, I'm dancing. He said, would you like to be recording? Oh, yeah, man. So I sat right down next to him. And he introduced me to this 19-year-old kid who had a notebook full of songs no one had ever heard before. And I read the lyrics of these songs. I thought, oh, man, I like these. And so he said, would you like to record them? I was sure would. Two weeks later, we were in the recording studio. We had a four-hour recording session. We did two songs. The third one sounded like the first one. So my producer, a guy named Lou Adler, said, well, let's do something else. And I had the words to this song in my back pocket. And I had back there now for two weeks. So when I pulled them out, they were a little, you know, funky. And I aired them out a little. Put a little crease and hung them on the music stand. And the guys went to it a couple of times. Oh, we got this. It's only just a simple little melody, you know. And we got it. Let's record it. We only had 10 minutes left. 10 minutes. That's all we had. So we thought, well, we'll record it and see what it sounds like and come back next week and do it again. But this is what we only did. One take. That's all we, that's what we got. One take. When will we ever learn? When 